Hi there. A lot of my friends over the last few years have purchased digital cameras. They've given up film cameras. You can't really get film much anymore. And they enjoy taking pictures with them. And they like the idea that they can see the immediate feedback of the view screen in the back. But they have not figured out how to transfer the pictures from the camera to the PC. It would certainly enhance your enjoyment if you be able to watch them on the computer. So we're going to take you through the process today to how to do this. Your camera should have come with some sort of a data cable like this. One end plugs into the camera itself, the other into a USB port on your PC or your laptop. You then turn on the camera and it should find the hardware and then open a dialog box that allows you to examine the pictures that are on the camera. Another approach that I prefer to use is to take the card itself, the chip right out of the camera, in this particular case, it's an SD card. There's several formats, although SD is the most popular. And I put the SD card into a slot right on the side of my laptop or my PC. Not all computers have this slot. You can buy fairly inexpensive card readers like this one here. It will take an SD card, and then that plugs into the uh, USB port on the computer. In any event, uh, that's the, that's the procedure. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a, a SD card right now, pop it into my PC, and you see it brings up right away open folder to view files. Let's take a look at that. And in here you have a couple folders that appear. DCIM is usually where you're going to find the pictures. In this particular case, these were taken on a Canon, and a number of pictures show up in here. We can go view and see what we have. Let's go to extra large icons and not a lot of pictures on here. Um, we could selectively pick a few like uh, this one, maybe control click, control click. But in this particular case I think I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to hit control A. You notice all of them are highlighted in blue. Now we need to save these. You can do this a couple ways. Control C copies all the pictures to a virtual clipboard. You could also do the same thing by clicking on any one of the images and hitting the right click and select copy. Then let's go over to pictures and let's uh, I've already created a new folder called 2013 and let's create in here a new subfolder and we'll call it um, demo photos. Enter that why don't we double click on that? There's nothing in here right now, but if we right click on this screen and then select paste, all those pictures are going to appear. I could have also hit control V, V is in vector, and that would have also pasted them. But let's go ahead and take a look, uh, click in between one of these, and so they're not highlighted now. You'll notice that a few of these need to be rotated here. Hold down the control key, click, click, click. While these are, while I'm holding down the control key, I'm clicking on all those that need to be rotated. And we'll drag this on down here, here, here. And let's bring in this one. And that should be all of them. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's take this one and unclick that. I'll explain why in a second. Now let's go to any one of the images that's highlighted in blue, right click on it, and then select rotate clockwise. And you'll see that all the pictures that we have selected are now rotating. Let's click anywhere, uncheck them. I'm going to double click on the American flag and that will bring up a viewer. You could also right click on that, select open with, and try that again. Windows Photo Viewer. The pictures then appear and I can fast forward or view these. And here's the one I mentioned I left intentionally unrotated. You can rotate it by using this little button right here. Then continue going through. If you see one you want to get rid of, then click on the X button. X is not closing, that's actually deleting it. So only do that if you really want to get rid of it. And 
pop on through the pictures and it sure beats looking at them through the back of a camera. Hope this has been helpful.